Hey there, welcome to Silent Hill Part 10, I believe. Okay, let's go. Just use the wire cutters to cut the, uh, well, the wires in front of me, so that means I can go down the ladder now and proceed. Let's go. Ah, yeah. Love the shotgun. Oh, uh, right or left? Right has a ladder. Well, straight ahead. What? What's this? Oh, there's another ladder up here. Let's try this one. Oh, I wouldn't happen to be on the other side, would I? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the map I'm making. Oh. <laughs> oh, never mind. I think I'm giving up on this one. Uh... Let's just continue, see where it goes. Reload really quickly. You never know. Right, I'm going into a, a room. Um, it's completely pointless. There's nothing here at all. Whatever. Let's go back down and try the other ladder then. start using my handgun. I think I will, you know. I'm sure I've got like 200-ish bullets, so. Ah, uh, I hear someone. From the left, I think. I see you. Down on the ground. <laughs> Probably didn't need to kill him, but just in case I have to come back through this area, I don't want him harassing me. Wait. Okay, another ladder? Bloody hell. Left or right? Let's just try left. I hear a monster this way. Ah! Round around the corner. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> got ya. <laughs> Alright. Um, I think I hear another one. Let's just try this ladder, I guess. I'm gonna get lost. Oh! So many of you guys <laughs> down here. Left again. No, nope, dead end. Let's try right. Oh. Hiya! Point blank. <laughs> Alright, that's all the monsters dealt with. Where did he come from? Another dead end. Uh, Alright. This way. Another ladder, would you believe it? <laughs> I am going to use a lot of ammo down here. Damn. Uh, no, oh, no, hello. You are there after all. Uh, there's another ladder. Oh boy. Okay. Let me just turn back. I want to know what's down here. Okay, this looks like the same sort of size room as the other one above me. Probably is the one above me, actually. It must be below it. Huh, well, um... It must be the ladder then, I guess. If I can remember how to get there. This way... and... up. And gun bullets, great. Whoa! They're relentless. 
They just want all my ammo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't expect that. Die. Fuck. Okay. Um, gonna heal up. And I might as well check how many bullets I've got. Oh, 137 handgun bullets. That's still pretty good. Um, I guess use a couple of health drinks. No, just the one. The one did it. That's fine. Another one. This is unbelievable. Okay, left or right. There you go. And there's... Oh shit, oh shit. No, don't want to fight him, don't want to fight him. Running away. Running the fuck away. Um, let's try this ladder. I don't want to go that way. Be in the right area, you know. What's this? Newspaper? Yep. It's stained with something that looks like blood and is partially illegible. Just partially, though, so what does it actually say? Um, okay, I'm just gonna have to, just gonna have to guess for this. The body of a man later identified as Thomas... Thomas Orozco? Orozco sounds right for some reason. Lumberjack, age 39, was discovered in a something... Lying far. The probable cause of death was multiple stab wounds to the front of the neck and the left side of the torso by a sharp edged weapon. The estimated time of death was somewhere between 11 pm and 12.30 midnight. Due to signs of struggle in the room and the lack of a murder weapon, police are considering this is a homicide and have opened a murder investigation. Furthermore, given the fact that the cash in the room was untouched and Mr. Orozco had a history of drunkenness and violence, the police suspect that the motive was not robbery and was a, a crime of um, passion or something? I don't know. Something like that. I don't think I'm that far off. Alright, let's ignore that save. Straight through the door. Orozco. Hmm. Is that right? Daddy. That's a very strange father figure you've got there, Angela. Um, okay. Let me just change to my hunting rifle. Um, there. Okay, let's give this baby a go. Oh boy, okay. Uh, oh no! I'm being face raped or something. Alright, I'm gonna do the. Uh, the reload thing in the inventory because it's it's instant. Might as well heal up as well. That, that hurt me quite a bit. Let's use a first aid kit. Sure. Okay. Uh, run around if possible. No! This is the strangest room ever. Really hard to get away from him. Alright, run, 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 run. And that's that's her dad. Some fucked up family right there. Die already. Uh run run run. Yes. I think he's dead.
Angela, relax. Don't order me around! I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want then? Oh, I see. You're trying to be nice to me, right? I know what you're up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like he always did. You only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela. Don't touch me! You make me sick! You said your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes, she was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <sighs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, careful, James. I thought he was going to shoot her then. Okay, uh, well, Eddie is clearly a bit disturbed. Angela seems to be slightly disturbed too. Yeah, that was her dad. I was just thinking, that newspaper article I was reading, Orozco. I don't think that was a coincidence. I think that's her second name. It's Angela Orozco. Or something similar to that. Huh. What the fuck's going on in this room? You, never mind. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I think I can put this hunting rifle down now, though. Uh, sh sh shotgun. Okay, so... In here? Okay. Oh, boy. This is a puzzle I'm not particularly fond of. Um, I'll come back to that. Let's follow follow this corridor. Uh, this way? Another unlocked door. Right. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. Alright, I'll come back to that as well. I think I have to read that on the wall. Can I go through? Oh, I can! Oh. I thought that would be locked. Ah, no, this is locked. Right, okay, yeah, there's handcuffs around this valve. Little turnkey thing, or whatever it is. You can't turn the handle unless you first remove the handcuffs. Okay, and to get the handcuff key, I need to complete that puzzle with the corpses and the, the six nooses. Okay. To start with, let's go in this room and let's read what was written on that plaque over here. On this little sign. There's quite a lot of it. Okay, here we go then. Dead men, dead men, swinging in a tree. How many dead men do you see? Tongue turned blue and face gone grey. Watch them as they twist and sway. Very nice. The first one killed the butcher man, then cooked him in the frying pan, served him to his hungry guests, and gave them seconds on request. Lovely. The next one with his smile in sweets stole poor children off the streets. To men who dressed unsavory, he sold them into slavery. Very nice. I, I really appreciate the rhyming. Okay. Breaking into a home at night, the thief he had a nasty fright. Filled his foolish head with ale. Woke in the morn in the county jail. The artist with his daunting skill tried his hand at painting bills. 
But caught in rain he was undone, when the ink he had used did start to run. With promises of great return, taking gold he did not earn, bundled it up out of sight, quietly slipped off into night. Three houses into ashes burned, the sheriff with no place to turn, did spy a stranger to his town, locked him up and beat him down. Dead men, dead men, swinging in a tree, how many dead men do you see? Six feet long and six men wide, round their necks the noose be tied. Okay, it's quite a lot to take in, really. Let's have a look at this one, I think this one's different. This one's the actual instruction. Uh, yeah, notice, only the sinless one can help you here. Mistakenly pull on the criminal's rope, and your reward will be returned to you in a shape most wondrously strange. Basically, I have to pull the innocent one's rope. Um, and if I pull the wrong one, I die in some way. I'm not exactly sure how, but it, you know, it's inevitable. So I need to get this right. So there's six nooses to pull. I need to go back to the room with the corpses. Now, from what I just read, I figured out which one it was. Which one was the innocent one. It's pretty, pretty easy, actually. I just need to find the right man. Alright, so let's start in this corner here. I think they've got something on their face. Don't they? Oh, yeah. Face is covered with a piece of paper. There's something written on it. This man was hung for the crime of murder. Okay, that's not the one I'm looking for. This man was hung for the crime of kidnapping? Nope. Crime of counterfeiting? Nope. No, 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 no. All those three are guilty. Swindling? Nope. Arson. This guy, this guy is the innocent one. Okay. So, I know which noose to pull down. Pretty simple puzzle, really, but if you do get it wrong, you die. So then, this rope here. Rope hanging from the ceiling, will you pull it? Yes! Hey, I didn't die instantly, that's gotta be good. Now, I think if I go back to the room with the corpses, something will have changed. He left something behind. A piece of paper and the key to the persecuted, or the key of the persecuted rather, which is the, the handcuffs key. And the piece of paper? Oh, that was just what was covering his face. He left it behind. No idea where he went. Shot straight up or something. No idea. Doesn't matter. I have the key. So it, it, hmm. it must be this side, right? The corridor looks the damn same. Yeah, round here. Let's use the key of the persecuted. Which is... There. Cool. Oh! Oh! Ah, my ears! Oh, I didn't like that at all. Fuck. Okay. Down we go. Down another ladder. This is even more ridiculous than holes at this point. Alright. Uh, there's a door there. What's here? Uh, another door. Let's try this one.
That was sort of a lol just kidding moment. You thought Maria was alive again? No. Okay, let's leave her. She really is dead. And this door is open now. Left. Left again. And another ladder. Why not? What else were you expecting, really? Oh, there's a medkit. I will definitely take that. Alright, what we got here then? I'm outside. Really? I'm grass this far underground? Safe point, okay. What is he looking at? Oh! Ammo! Shotgun? Yeah, shotgun shells. Excellent. Um, might be worth me having a look at these gravestones, actually. Some of them are interesting. Ah, uh, maybe not that one. I can't, can't tell who it is. Uh, this one, maybe? Epitaph for the felon that drank one last bottle of ale before he was executed and laid here to his eternal rest. This one seems broken, so... Yeah. I'll take that, thank you. Walter Sullivan. There's a name you might know. Nope, not that one. Uh, what about what about the rest? Hey, more. What's that? More shotgun shells? Great. Uh, this one? No, it's just scratched up. This one? Miriam K. Traitor. Mm. Okay, alright. Uh, yeah, I can't look at that one. There's three over here, though. Let's have a look. Eddie Dombrowski. Angela Orozco. I was right, it was Orozco. And finally, James Sunderland. And would you look at this? Will you go down? I have a chance to jump into my own grave. I'll do that later, though. For now, I'm going to save. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next part.